Hi everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Kirby's Adventure. I'm Josh Kell, and last episode we finished uh, World 2, so on to World 3 and Level 1. Here we go. Ah, oh, looks like we got... It's, a, it's like a castle tower type world. It's kind of weird, but kind of not weird. Oh, bomb, what was that? Ooh, almost killed it there. But yeah, I, I did not do a practice run before I recorded any of this, so... Yeah, I might miss some stuff my first time, but... Yeah, another, this is, we've already had this mini loss before, but yeah, um, I'll try... I'll try my best, I guess, to not miss things. Yeah, yeah, this is definitely the... I remember, this is definitely the first level that has a hidden thing in it. As you can see, it's right there. <laughs> it's supposed to be a button, but I always call them couches. And yeah, the, the door to get to there is right over here, I'm pretty sure. And you can do a slide to destroy those ones. <sighs> Not much point out of this room, but whatever. Anyway, uh, here we go. Just jump on the button and... More of the map will reveal. Reveal the Colosseum. And to get 100%, you'll need to get all of those. And as you probably saw on the, um, when the first time we came across here, it finishes right here, and... Oh, so close. And I tried extra hard that time, too. <laughs> yeah, this is actually, this is actually the second video I've recorded in this sitting, and sorry about the length of the second part, because I, well, I didn't know it was that long. I figured it wouldn't be because of all those cuts, but I uh, can't really help it. Oh, I didn't show that Colosseum. Oh, I'll show, we'll show it once uh, I get out of this level. Oh, I destroyed that health thing. Oh, not that I needed it. Um, oh, this is, this is interesting. Um, you just keep running to the right. <laughs> I think I accidentally called right left once in the previous video when I was explaining the direction to go. You go uh, right enough here and the door will appear and that the sound is not delayed my my thinking is just delayed uh, stone, I don't think we've gotten a stone yet uh, you pretty much just use it in the air and you'll turn into a stone, you can't be hurt while you're a stone so uh, useful defensive mechanisms and <laughs> well, I didn't know you could do that. I figured we should have gotten the sword from the previous room, and... Yeah, it's like a hidden mini-boss thing. We used the stone to get this guy. Oh, I accidentally double-pressed B. Come, come here, you! Oh, I have to wait for him to get off me, otherwise I'll get hurt. Take your time. Come on, get off me. And there we go. Go away, stone. Time for the wheel. Um, I'm not sure if this wheel actually helps you the rest of this. Um, I think it does, though. Yeah, you just, like, zoom through. Thanks to the wheel. Ah. Oh, that just gave me a wheel of all. Now these actually all... Not that you got to see it, because I got the wheel power up again both times. Damn. I missed that. Um, yeah, unlike the um, area of effect freeze, that, that those freeze power up. Zzz. We'll just freeze in a straight... Oh, I guess I can't use a wheel against this guy, huh? Yeah, those will freeze in a straight line. I'm really trying to finish off what I'm saying, instead of just getting sidetracked by what's new to say. But yeah, like every other mini-boss, you pretty much just wait for him to throw something at you, and you just eat it up and throw it back at him. That's the theme of the game, eat stuff, throw them back. And this guy gives you the... the well, it's called backdrop, but it's like a karate move type thing. I don't think that was good enough. Oh! Close, close, close. 
Um, so yeah, before I forget, I better show this Colosseum. I'm not sure what's actually in here. Oh, the wheel! You know, well, backdrop's completely useless against him. I'd like to show it. Well, you, you, uh, you saw it in part one. Ow. Better not die. Yeah, during that um intro. Damn, I f swear I was holding out B then. Don't know why he didn't start sucking. Hey, don't jump over my stuff. <laughs> uh, it's just, it's too strong for me. Ah, now what was I saying? Yeah, yeah, you would have seen it in that um introduction thing in part one. You pretty much just grab stuff and you can throw them. Sort of like you can in Bionic Commando Rearm, which I was actually just playing before this. Yeah, I don't think I'll actually do that anytime soon. I need to practice it a lot if I LP that any- well, again. Well, I didn't LP it in the first place. But yeah, just another level and... This is, I do like the colours of this level. Very nice palette they've got here. <laughs> Watch out for them. They're doing some suicide dropping and you've got the wheel. <laughs> this is so easy, it's not funny. But <laughs> watch out for falling off, which I almost did. Um. Oh, we've got a bunch of paths to choose. Go on this one. Oh, I see what's going on. Yeah, you go on one path, it'll just lead to the other room. So what you pretty much want to do is just like go to the top, I think. Yeah, it's like you go on this one. Oh, that doesn't lead to anything. Uh, that one over there, I think, because in the other room, it's... Oh, I didn't need that wheel anymore anyway. I could have gone back and gotten it, but I didn't need to. Yeah, so I'm going here. I could, yeah, well, I couldn't get here from this room, so I'm just going to finish again. Three? I did awful that time. And... Oh, seven minutes? Now, I don't think we'll be able to do all of the... Like, a single world each video, because some of it will start to get to longer, and... Just to jump in here. I did get this before, didn't I? I didn't really show it off that much, I don't think. So, off to level four, which starts with a star. Oh, let's see where it's gonna take us. Wee. Gee, I'd sure it sure would be fun to ride on one of those, I reckon. Oh, it's Meta Knight again. Sending more bad guys after us. Ah, uh, yeah, high jump's really useless for this. Yeah, he gives you invincibilities and. He sends enemies after you, and you do actually have to fight him as a boss later. Ah, spoilers, I guess, but... It's an old game, so I'm sure, I'm sure most of you probably know stuff like that. Or not, and if you don't, then I'm sorry if I spoiled anything. Ah, uh, I'll grab his sword. Sword's good. Umbrella's pretty useless, except for the float. Yes, ah, uh, the wind's actually blowing me up here, so I'll fly up a lot faster. And you can actually still fall down, this is at a lot slower speed. Oh, here's the finish again. <laughs> Having trouble getting in just because of the wind. Ay, ay, ay. I'm just trying so hard to get to tier 1 and I can't do it. Here's a minigame we haven't seen yet. Ah, uh, yeah, so what I was talking about in the previous episode, that star you can see in the bottom right, that indicates the difficulty, so it's the easy one, because it's only one star. And here you'll get to see my reaction time. Pretty much just press the A button when the noise goes off. Uh, 13 milliseconds. Yeah, not much. I won't be talking much here, because I'll be listening out for the noise. Trying not to screw up. 13 again. The 
the least time consistent. Oh, 12 that time. Oh, I'm improving. Ah. I needed to do it in 11 to beat King DDD, and I didn't do that. Ah, we still got a life. So, yeah, that's the first minigame I screwed up. But I didn't expect to win. Oh, I've never been that good at those. Um. Yeah. On to level 5. Ah, and it gives us an invincibility straight off the bat. Just rush through, rush through as fast as you can. God, it's such great music. And... Oh, this is one of the area of effect freezes. Oh well, didn't, get, didn't keep that for long, and I will swap it with the sword. Ah, we haven't seen one of these yet. Let's sword him. He's weak enough. There we go. I will actually grab him though, because he has the hammer, which... I don't know, I, I, I think the sword's actually better than the hammer. It's really not that amazing. Pretty much the same thing, really. Um, yeah, it's not like they fall off the screen, so I didn't really see the point of that. <laughs> oh, I'll use the finish, see if we can get tier 1. Man, that's even worse. Oh well. <laughs> um, yeah, the fact that there's like walls here pretty much tells me there is a secret in six so we'll see if we can find that laser I don't, I'll, I'll get it just in case I mean the hammer's not that great anyway right, let's keep going um bomb better get that <laughs> don't want that going off in my face or that one ow give me that back Um, damn. That was gonna get me anyway, so not much I could have done, but whatever. <sighs> yes, I do love the visuals of this game, I've already said that. <laughs> uh, not much to talk about. Yeah, I have no idea where the secret is in this level, if there is one. Uh, I could have used that fireball actually. Would have helped with this. But I think. Yeah, it's in here, I think. Not, not that these are hidden that well. I'll. Nah, I don't think this is anything. Yeah, you better hurry over, otherwise, the thing will wall you off. Oh, never mind. Here it is. Button number two. And reveals an egg mini game. What fun. Uh, let's finish off this level. Ah, uh, it's raining outside. I don't, know, I don't know if you'll be able to hear that or not. I don't... I really don't like rain. And not for, like, the reason... Cutter. Oh, we haven't... I actually haven't seen Cutter yet. But I want to... I do want to eat one of those light guys, so we can actually light this room up. So I think there's... Don't... Don't eat that. Get rid of that. God, I'm... Having trouble with the buttons. I don't think my controller's broken or anything, but... That is a problem. Oh, now I see I don't even remember what I was saying before. Well, we already found a secret in this level, so why would there be another one? Yeah, um, this light power-up isn't really used that much, I don't think. I just keep losing abilities left, right, and center. Yeah, so I didn't, I didn't really need one of those. Uh, I just come up here, and here's the finish again. And only got to three again. Um... 
Oh, there's the boss. Um, you've already seen the egg. But I'll do it anyway. Yeah, it's still level one, so it'll pretty much be the exact same thing. Oh, and I... Yeah, I don't know. I think either the, t the TV's, like, delayed or something, or my controller's maybe finally starting to break after all these years. But anyway, enough of that. Uh, let's finish off this world. Now, this is an interesting boss. It's actually two bosses in one, and... They only have half health each. And, um... What you're supposed to do... Is just grab, like, the... Things... That come off the sun or the moon. Uh, this, yeah, the, when the... So if I was to eat one of these things, the moon drops, it would give me the cutter. If I was to eat something, the sun makes, it would give me fireball. Uh, I think fireball would be better for this um, boss. Ow. She better not go dying like I did on the last boss. Mix. Uh, yeah, see, I got two at once, so it'll just give me something completely random. Wheel. Huh, wheel actually will work pretty good. Probably. Don't wheel into the wall. Yeah. I want that back. Uh, better not get hit again. There we go. That's one dead. Now I gotta kill the other one. And that's both of them dead. Get the star rod for this area and. Kirby does a dance. This time. Oh, not Kirby's balloons. Poor Kirby. Anyway, haha. <laughs> enough for this episode. Um, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.